Hi guys, welcome back to Run Cut Bath and Beauty. What we are doing today, let me grab this out of here and get this tray out of the way. We are making some embeds. Ooh, sorry, making lots of noise. We're making some embeds for a soap that is Oh, well, it's going to be attached to this, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's gonna, I was going to say it's going to be attached, or uh, it's coming up soon, but it's going to be attached to this. But I have to very carefully peel this back here. You know what? Uh, let me bring it right back once I get this peeled off. I got it peeled off. It's still on the same piece of paper, but I do need to set out some... Uh, Some wax paper so I can uh, do this. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna show you the like the whole process of this. But let's show you what. Let me show you what we're making. We are making. Ooh. Let's see if you can see it. A broken heart. However, this broken heart comes apart into two pieces. So we get to definitely make broken hearts. And of course, I, I'm gonna make two separate. 10 inch embeds with each side of the heart. And I know they look kind of big to fit in a mold, but I got it perfect. So first thing I'm gonna do, I have a little thing of alcohol here and I'm gonna dip it into there so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, stick. That's the prayer anyway. pull off there we go and because we have these little little ridges here in order to get that soap back out of there or all the way through there I'm going to use these little tools just to very gently work it out of there and that's why I'm not going to show you the whole process but that's why I dipped it so heavily Whoop, <laughs> falling apart in the alcohol. So I'm gonna do all that and then, you know, with each piece, I'm gonna put it together with water and smooth the edges and all of that thing with both different kind of pieces. And um, I will bring you back when we get to our next step, which will probably for me be tomorrow because this is gonna be kind of a painstaking process. So, all right guys, I'll see you in a few. Okay. So this is our, this is, oh, I need a paper towel. This is the second part of our little process here. I'm going to get all this mica off my counter. I have, um, what is it called? Super Sparkle Light Gold Mica in here. Um, it's a pretty thick mix and it's mixed with rubbing alcohol and with my two columns because I'm making two soaps. So, oh, get off this cord. I'm going to paint them with gold mica and I'm also going to dust them with gold mica and I obviously have to wait for the alcohol to dry some in order to dust them. I will uh, spray them lightly with alcohol before I dust them. So this is all I'm doing for this part but I wanted to show you and it's because of my good friend Shauna over at Nissimi Soaps that I am doing this. She likes to do this technique um, with activated charcoal to give it <coughs> some more definition which I find completely awesome and some of these little spaces that I didn't quite get mixed going to be kind of cool because there's going to be some gold on those little missed spaces. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I guess I should have checked before I started. So and of course I'm going to have to let the mica dry before I turn it over and do the, the other side. I probably should be doing this one with the other thing turned around. <laughs> But I already started, so, you know, I'll turn it around and make sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah, so this is, that's all I'm doing for right now. So, 
Um, I'm gonna let it dry overnight for sure and we'll come back and make the rest of Heartbreaker. Okay, bye-bye. Okay guys, we're ready to make the body of the soap for Heartbreaker. I tried to, before we got started, like cut the um, half hearts to the exact size of my mold and that didn't work very well. So we're gonna have to sort of be a little tricky here and uh, get this all together. So again, this is my Hawthorne recipe and I think, I don't know if I told you or not that I put the fragrance in the embed as well. And now I want you to see my honey, or my honey, my lye water. I put my honey in my warm lye water and it uh, made a beautiful color. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use my gold, but I am going to go ahead and put this in here. We'll see. Because I'm making two soaps. I'm only putting a half a heart in each one. Oh, I need a paper towel for that. And um, I made a 38 ounce batch to because I need piping and stuff like that. Hopefully it's enough soap. All right, let me get this all stirred in and I'll do the yogurt when I come back. Okay, let me split, oop, split off my gold. I'm not gonna fragrance the gold. I don't really think I need to. And I'm gonna tell you something, you guys. <laughs> Doing the, like, cause after I painted the, the hearts, I came down here um, earlier today while my husband was still working and I uh, sprayed them with the alcohol and then did my tea strainer with them and oh my goodness it I have I still have glitter on my shirt my jacket I had to, take, to change my jacket because it was uh, ridiculous okay let me stir this gold in because we're not gonna need a lot of gold and this is the light gold look it almost looks like the the just the batter but it's got a shimmer to it it's called um, super sparkle light gold mica is what it's called okay and I am going to do the whole base really red my nurture probably should have opened this before I might have to take my gloves off to open it oh no yay where did I put my spoon I don't know okay reaching over you sorry Okay, I was going to get trial by fire, but I use really red for so many things, so I just figured I'd stick to it. Oh, I need more than that. Let's start with that and see where we are, because this is pretty potent stuff, you guys. And it does need to be stick blended, really red as a pigment, not a mica. All right. Oh, love really red mica. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Woo! I actually got more of it because um, those of you who watched uh, South of Heaven, which is my dragon's blood colored, or colored, <laughs> my dragon's blood scented soap, I didn't have any, and I was very, very unhappy with how that soap turned out. And I not only was unhappy with it, but as it cured, um, I had forgotten that the fragrance oil, because, you know, me, I didn't look back at my batch book to find out what was going on with the fragrance. It discolors. So I have a tan soap. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Because we have two molds that we have to fill up, and my, you know, I tried to, like I said, I tried to get them so they would, you know, be in the center and stick there and I could pour the soap around them sort of how like I did with Born in the USA well that didn't work so we're gonna have to uh, pour into the two molds and let it set up so I took an, a separate cup out I'm gonna pour some red in there because what I'm gonna do because this fragrance uh, slows down trays I am going to uh, stick blend some of the fragrance in there to help to get it to set up faster 
and like I said hopefully we'll have enough for piping if not it's not a big deal I can just sort of texture the top I'm not like stuck on the idea of that but I am gonna um, put the gold in here and the fragrance um, I think I told you what the fragrance was right it's bombshell by Victoria's Secret Victoria's Secrets Victoria's Secret all right Oh, I need my red spatula. Look at that. Beautiful. And if we can get the gold in here some, that would be wonderful. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> I'm having issues. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, let's get some gold in here. I'm going to move Simon over here for right now. Let me take this out of here. Put it back in there. Did I just spill that on the counter, too? Jeez. I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't. What do you know? Okay, so... We are going to get these uh, filled up some, and I'm going to go back and forth so I make sure to get some of that gold in both. Oh my goodness, I love the way this gold shimmers. It's a new color for me. Um, I have like the shimmer, the sp uh, super sparkle dark gold. So I thought, hmm, what about the light gold? So I got it in my last order from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and it is just beautiful. I mean, it's like the Gold Coast. Their golds are just amazing. Okay, so let me bang these. Okay, so I am going to let this sit for right now until it gets a little bit set up. I don't want them to be too jiggly because well I mean I, I guess if I have to like lean the heart up against the side it doesn't have to be in the center because when I think about a broken heart I think about it like you know lying on the floor kind of an idea you know so I wouldn't be opposed to that it's just sort of not what I want completely so We'll see. So I'll be back when this is set up. Okay, so they're not too jiggly. One of them is in two pieces. So I'm going to start with the one that is not. I need one of my thick skewers to help with this. I want to scoot it back just a little bit. There we go. That's not one of my thick skewers either. Where are my thick skewers? They're like way in the back, I think. Oh, there's one. Okay. I have these like cheap little dollar store ones, and then I have my really good thick ones. Okay, so this one is the one that's in two pieces. I'm not even sure it's going to totally fit in here. I might have to trim this down some, which is fine. If I have to. Where's my knife? Oh, eh, it's over here. I'm going to have to trim it down just an incy, incy bit. But I need it to line up with that. Okay. Ho, oh, ho, oh, yeah, guys. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a great mood again. No. Oh, okay. So we have our red here. And what I think I'm going to do is I am going to, I have this gold mixed in olive oil. I'm going to pour some in here because I don't think we're getting piping. I'm going to pour some of that mica and olive oil in there. Just sort of swirl it. 
So we have the same look all the way through it. And then, let, oop, let's cover this up. You know what I could do with this, you guys? Because this is obviously not enough soap. I really thought 38 ounces was going to, 38 ounces of oils was going to do it. I should have went with my gut. My gut said 42 and, you know, if we have extra, we have extra. So, what I'm going to do is uh, tomorrow, um, I am going to let this set overnight and tomorrow what I will do is uh hold on I gotta slam this again okay so tomorrow um we will go ahead and put some piping on the top but I'm gonna cut them first so that will be kind of interesting for you guys to see I don't think I've ever cut soap and then piped on it for you guys so we're gonna do that I will let it saponify overnight I really want to put some gold little hearts on there maybe I'll just do that I don't know Oh, I really wish I could talk to you guys. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that instead because, you know, then I'm going to have to... I've, ar I've already master batched, like, a lot <laughs> in the last, I can't even tell you. And I really don't want to have to mix another thing of oils right now. So I'm just going to drop some gold dots on there. and then make a, a pretty top. And granted, that was not, this is not our uh, light gold, but it'll work. Yeah. I really wish that I would have made more, but you know, what are you gonna do, right? I may still make more piping. I can actually feel that in bed. Oh, oh, I was having such a great time. Yeah. I'll make uh, probably, a bit, probably about 10 ounces of soap. That's like 13 ounces like total. Well, 14 ounces total. So 7 ounces. So I'll be able to fill up the rest of that and then pipe on it. But I can do that um, tomorrow. It doesn't have to be done tonight. That's just the way it's going to have to work because I waited forever to do this. Um, like I said, my husband's bowling. My husband went bowling tonight and my kid is at work. So I was uh, busy playing my video game, raiding and pillaging medieval England. <laughs> so, okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Sort of lied. <laughs> I cannot on good and good conscience let a soap go unfinished so i made actually 18 more ounces or i'm going to make 18 more ounces let me uh get my face back from that uh, but i'm going to do the heat transfer method just because it's you know easier for me that way And uh, I won't make you sit here and watch all of this. You can probably hear my washer taking off above me. So, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish this soap. So when this gets um, all melted and stuff, I'll come back. I apologize about the washer going. Um, let me add my liquid oils. My liquid oils do have cream in them. And I did put salt in my lye water. Um, I'm not too concerned about putting sugar or honey in the in the soap because this is you know just going to be the very top and then the piping and yogurt um obviously i'm not putting in here either there's enough yogurt in the soap as well so okay let me get this blended up and let's hope it, we can get it the right color too i'm going to go ahead and blend the color in with this this is not quite emulsified yet 
see if we can get at least a very similar color because this is only 18 ounces I definitely don't want to use anywhere near what I used in the other one boy my washer finally stopped I can't tell you how bad that washer is I mean it, you can't even hear the TV when it's spinning all right I'm gonna bring my soap over here to compare or one of my soaps over here to compare oh dang that's pretty pretty freaking close there guys okay I am going to uh, stick blend my fragrance in as well there's just a little bit teeny left but this just like love spell slows trace down a lot it's a really lovely fragrance to work for uh, work for <laughs> I'm having issues tonight you guys work with <laughs> let's bring our two molds in here and I did I set up two piping bags um, because I thought I was gonna have enough I was gonna you know split the the difference after those molds were filled but I'll be able to just put it in one piping bag Got all kinds of bubbles in here okay I am gonna drop the rest of this gold in here too or as much of this gold in here as is left there's not much left in there I'm gonna have to make some more my daughter did buy me some more of those which was fantastic I'm just gonna bring the whole tray over you guys Let me move this out of the way when we pipe I'll I'll separate them so you know they're not but for right now whoa 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 you know what? This is, I'm in a great mood and I'm just, I don't know why when I, uh, yeah, that was my phone. The Red Wings just scored. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have enough for piping, which is fine. I don't mind. That's good. I'll just wait till it sets up more and I will put some more on the top and texture it. I'll mix some more of the gold with my olive oil and we'll be good. So that works for me. All right, I'm going to bang these and we're going to wait for that to set up and we'll put some on the top. You guys are not going to believe this. After two hours of letting this set up, it was still like liquid. So I resorted to putting my batter in the fridge. Yes, the fridge. This fragrance, this bombshell, it's from Crafter's Choice. It acts just like Love Spell. It takes forever for it to set up. I think it's set up enough that I can at least sort of put it on the top. I mean, it's been in the fridge for 15 minutes. So I guess we'll see. We'll try it. Oh, I probably should have sprayed that with alcohol. It's amazing to me, these uh, Victoria's Secret dupes. Everyone I've dealt with, because we do a dupe of Heavenly as well and it's the same thing I mean it just takes forever for it to set up I don't know why but you want to do intricate swirls There's another one for you guys I may uh, take some of this to get samples with because I mean, I guess I'm going to have a little bit of, uh, I'm going to have end pieces, so, woo! I'm going to try to get these as even as possible, but I may uh, go ahead and put some of this in, in, a sand, in my sample mold. Woo! Making a big mess again. Okay, let me move this around some look at that you guys 15 minutes in the fridge and it is still not set up all the way 
but I am so done with this soap right now. So done. So I'm just going to try to get it to the corners and whatnot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some uh, gold mica on there and I'm just going to sort of swirl it. I just want to make sure this top part, I'm uh, I'm definitely going to have to take my, uh, uh, oh, what's that thing called? Potato peeler. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to take that to the edges of the top of this soap. And I'm probably going to leave it on my counter until it's completely set up before I, you know, I don't want to put it in my soap room. I want to risk it falling all over the place so yeah let's just do the mica and be over it because I am certainly certainly over it I can't wait for you guys to see the soap I do next week because I have a very special guest with that soap Yeah, this is messy. Okay. I'm going to put the rest of that in my... Oh, i got to shake this up. I'll put the rest of that in my sample mold. But you guys don't have to watch that. Um, I'm going to put my... I was going to use my light gold glitter because I thought that I'd be able to get this a little up a little bit higher, but that's not going to work. So, here is some gold. Build it back up. Okay. And let me just swirl it a little bit. Just a little bit. I just want to break up, you know, some of the lines on it. I don't want it to fall anymore that it than it already has. This is, I got to make my husband's dinner. He's home from bowling. I mean, when I was done pouring, you know, like the filling up the molds at the top, it was 8.30, almost 8.30, like 8.27 or whatever. It is 10.52, you guys. I am not kidding. It took forever. Okay. So, we will be back in 18 to 24 hours. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm probably not going to get a chance to cut this soap tomorrow. My daughter is actually coming over to help me make more bath bombs. I have made, I can't even tell you how many bath bombs trying to get ready for um, the farmer's market. So, we're going to make some more tomorrow. But I told her, I said, if you want to sell bath bombs, you're coming over and helping me. So, all right, guys, have a great night and, well, <laughs> for you, for me, it's good. I'm going to have a great night, but for you, I'm going to see you in a few seconds. All right. Okay. I, uh, started to edit this video, um, before I was going to cut this, which by the way, we got some serious soda, soda ash on, but I realized that, oh crap, my battery uh, was dying in my microphone so we're a little bit louder now <laughs> and you'll find that with uh, some of the other soaps that I made before I realized it so okay here we go let's cut heartbreaker take some uh, take an end piece off here a little bit bigger than that and let's see what we got oh, I'm not gonna cut um, the whole loaf with you guys because they are well I wish that was a little bit more in the middle but maybe we'll get there but I'm not gonna cut both loaves or I mean uh, all of one loaf with you guys but I'll cut a few pieces off of the other loaf um, as well just so you guys can see the other heart shape so <clears throat> and again I apologize for my 
my voice, my still having trouble with my upper respiratory tract. I it's always this time of year, you know. Michigan gets hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. <laughs> it like never stops, and it really messes with my respiratory system. So I apologize if it annoys you for a little bit the next couple of videos. Okay, this piece, and then we'll move on to our next loaf, which I have to take my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? You know, the potato peeler, too, really quick. So, yeah, got some, we've got some stuff on there that I can just take off really quick. Then I don't have to worry about the top when I, uh. I gotta worry about the big mess I just made. You know, guys, I was finding gold glitter like everywhere. <laughs> it was too funny. Okay, let's see what this heart looks like. Oh, oh, see, there we go. I'm gonna bring the pieces together to. Oh, that wasn't my paper towel. That was my washcloth. Bring uh, two pieces together. Because that's sort of how I wanted it, was to be able to, whoop, I don't know if you guys can see both bars with me in the way. I love it. And I love how it's two levels there, actually three levels there. It almost looks like it's the three-layered soap, which is fantastic. I actually really like it. <clears throat> I have a an air hole on this one that I'll have to address. But any of those little air holes, once I plane everything, and actually I can even use these little shreds I took off to plug those holes. So let me cut one, one more of these, this kind of heart with you, and I will let you guys go. So you guys have a fantastic, why did that do that? Wow. Well, that'll be fixed in planing. Yeah, see, look, I messed up my heart right there, cutting it. But that'll be fixed in planing, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, guys. So have fun this upcoming weekend, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.